what's going on, y'all? Uh, this is my second video of the day. So make sure you throw them likes up, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what you think about this video. Uh, before I want I get started, okay, I want to say this. I'm going to give you a list, okay, and of the people that were invited to these parties. I want to say this. There's nothing illegal with going to a party. Whatever acts that happen at these parties, and I think that I've discussed this before, is their business. But when there's people that's been violated or, you know, coerced into acts without uh, their consent, I'll say, or without their knowledge, then that's a problem. And we'll discuss that a little bit later here. Uh, and I know I had the name of this guy on the tip of my uh, my head. I know his name is Oja. Uh, I can't think of his last name. This guy's Oja is J Lo, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about J Lo and her first husband. All right, but just look it up on the internet. He was married to J Lo in the latter nineties, I think, from like ninety seven and ninety nine. All right, and I think that his claims are genuine. All right, you know, turned out Jennifer Lopez has been married four times. Wow, you know, she's like she can't keep a man for Jack. All right, but then again, she doesn't want to be alone. All right, so this is information I saw on a couple of videos. I believe Max. Five Pro Media and then Ticket TV. The guy, again, that I'm telling you about, and there was also an interview on, I guess, Chris uh, Chris Como that used to be on CNN. There's other information I saw uh, online, okay? You can see this on the like, Yahoo News. I can't think of the other uh internet site, but you can plug this information on the internet and look at the hard copy and read the articles and so forth. They'll tell you the same thing. And I've seen pictures, okay, over the years about the people that uh, attended uh, these parties. I'm talking about P. Diddy. But this guy had got on uh, Yahoo and between that and the interview, I guess when he was asked about uh, his relationship or how he felt about P. Diddy and J. Lo and all this other stuff, because, and I say that uh, because J. Lo has been, is right now is being investigated for participating in these parties, okay, and the, the, the drugging and all that, weapons charges, and also violating people, okay, again. He was questioned and he said that he didn't like, he despised of uh, P. Diddy and he despised of J-Lo, okay, because he felt that P. Diddy had a lot to do with why they ended up getting divorced, okay, for whatever reason. I don't know if J-Lo stepped out on, her, on him, okay, but I do know that they got a divorce and then, you know, J-Lo got with P. Diddy in the late 90s. And I, uh, they had broke up, dated for a couple of years and they broke up in 2001. Okay, so that was like 98, 99. I do remember that time. All right. And actually, I, I liked the J-Lo. Okay. And I thought when they broke up, it had a lot to do with that shooting with Shine, with the rapper Shine. And actually, I was taken up for her with other people where she was... What things were becoming promising with her. Okay, and now it turned out I think that I might be wrong. Or maybe she probably just used Diddy as a plate 
And when she ended up getting that deal with, I think it may, Maybelline or whatever, then she broke up with him, okay? Very deceiving. Now back to the story, okay? Not only that, he despised of, all right, and the, the, the information either on IG or Twitter that he has, and he has a page, was saying that, yeah, he didn't want to go to Diddy's uh, ish parties or whatever, okay, them crappy parties. He would never go, and he said that he never went to the parties. And he gave a list, okay, uh, came out with a list of these people. You can see the list yourself, all right? I took a snapshot of it. And it probably had a good 150, 200 people of everybody that you name, okay, including two presidents, all right, and a first lady, all right. And those presidents are Donald Trump, Obama, and then the first lady is Hillary Clinton. They had athletes, uh, preachers, celebrities, actors, rappers. Okay, singers. I mean, I was really, really shocked. Okay, just to name a few of the most prominent ones. Uh, Justin Timberlake, Magic and Michael. Uh, Magic Johnson, that is. Michael Jordan. Uh, I just named you the presidents. Oprah. All right. Steve Harvey. Okay. And they, they snap pictures with these people at these parties. All right. Uh, Reverend Al Sharpton. So, uh, and usually his typical crew, uh, Diddy, his crew that he hung with back in the day, what, the lots, Mary J. Blige, Lil' Kim, okay, uh, Biggie, I'm pretty sure they did parties back in the day, uh, Ashton Kushner, and some of the other pictures that you probably saw with uh, other people, all right? At these parties, LeBron James, uh, James Harden, uh, Odell Beckham. All right. So he knew quite a few people. Now, I'm pretty sure probably some of these people went to parties. And I know that some people seen probably certain uh, certain things. Uh, Denzel was one of them. OK, but I'm willing to bet there's probably a couple that might have went to the party or maybe went to a party, probably a day party or something like that. All right. And maybe left. And they may have not seen anything, but maybe they've heard stories and stuff like that, but they won't come out and say anything. I'm pretty sure that that's happened. And I'm saying this for a reason, because now a lot of these people on this list are now they have their credibility at stake, their reputation at stake. But I was telling you about in earlier videos about some of the things that he was doing, like murders. It was essays and hard words and stuff like that and drugs. What's going to happen is these people are going to be depositioned, okay, to, to find out what happened. Then these tapes, and that's going to be a video for another day because the FBI is supposed to have recovered over 200 tapes. And now it's my understanding that they leaked out in a, on the black web, and now they leaked out the streets because there's at least one person, one or two people, that's been offered to buy one of these tapes, and they didn't do it, okay? One person, allegedly, DJ Vlad, okay? So it's just a matter of time before you go on the internet or you go on probably one of these uh, corn, corn sites, and you see these tapes and all that, okay? They end up being sold at, on the internet or or the stores, okay? Where you can buy this stuff on Lonely Fans or one of these other sites. Just a matter of time, okay? But what the tapes may do is they may correlate to find out who's in those tapes and if they've done some type of illegal activity. And then they're probably going to attach uh, or, all right, these names to this this case because there are going to be people that's going to be, you know, on the on the on the witness stand, for the most part. Okay, including J Lo. 
In fact, right now, it's my understanding that J Lo's been quiet and that she's supposed to have a price tag on her head. Okay, if she says anything. All right, that's going to be it. Stay tuned for the next video. I want to work on this this fourth bell with uh, with Diddy. But I'm thinking if he's going to keep coming out with stuff like this, all right, then the FBI, they're going to be thinking twice, okay, though the federal, the federal judges are, are on that, okay? So, but like I said, there's nothing le illegal with having a guest list. So let me end it there. Stay tuned for the next video. Cash app dollar sign Winston Spivey if you want to donate.